Okay, question 10. We have an exponential model. So a scientist is researching the effects of caffeine. Uh, she models the mass of caffeine in the body using m equals m naught e to the minus kt, where m naught milligrams is the initial mass of caffeine in the body and m milligrams is the mass of caffeine in the body uh, after t hours. On average, it takes 5.7 hours for the mass of caffeine in the body to half. One strong cup of coffee contains 200 milligrams of caffeine. Parte says the scientist drinks two strong cups of coffee at 8 a.m. We want to use the model to estimate the mass of caffeine in the scientist's body at midday. So the problem with that at the moment is that we don't know the value of k. So that's what we need to work out first of all. Now to do that, we know that if Um, M naught is 400, then, so the 400 is coming from the two strong cups of coffee, and then uh, M will be 200 when T is equal to 5.7. So, if we substitute those numbers in, then we get 200 is equal to 400 e to the minus 5.7 k. Now if we solve this for k, Divide by 400, we get one half is e to the minus uh, 5.7. Okay, the logs, log of a half is minus 5.7. Okay, then divide by minus 5.7. K is minus 1 over 5.7 log of a half, which to four decimal places is 0.1216. So now we know the model is, so M is m naught e to the zero point sorry minus zero point one two one six t now at midday uh t is equal to four four hours have passed since 8 a.m. Now we also know that m naught was 400. So we're going to get m is equal to 400 e to the minus 0. Uh, 1216 times 4 and that gives us if we go to the nearest whole number 246 milligrams cool and for part B a scientist wants the caffeine uh, the mass of caffeine in her body to stay below 480 milligrams. 
use the model to find the earliest time that she could have another cup of strong coffee. Give your answer to the nearest minute. Okay, so the next time, oh, so she can't have another cup. until uh, the mass in her body is 200 less than 480 uh, until the mass in her body is 200 Less than four eighty. Sure, four eighty minus two hundred is two hundred and eighty. Sure, using our model, we want the mass in her body to be less than or equal to. 280. So our model then would be 400 e to the minus uh, 0.1216 t is less than or equal to 280. Okay. Divide by the 400, so e to the minus 0.1216 t is less than or equal to uh, 280 over 400 is 0.7. Take logs, so minus 0.1216 t is less than or equal to log. 0.7. Now divide through by minus 0.1216. Now remember when you do that with inequalities, you divide by a negative or multiply by a negative, the direction of the sign flips. So we get t is greater than uh, minus 1 over 0.1216 log of 0.7. Now, that to two decimal places tells us t is greater than or equal to 2.93. So, if run out of room, let's go down here. So, the next time she can have a cup of coffee is 2.93 hours after 8am. So, 2.93 times 60 is equal to... Um, One hundred and seventy-five point eight. So it's a hundred and seventy-five point eight minutes later. Now that remember the question said to give it to the nearest minute. So let's say that's a hundred and seventy-six minutes. Now that is two hours and fifty-six minutes later. So. And next time she can have a cup of coffee is 10.56 a.m. I think I need a coffee now. Okay, then part C asks us to give a reason uh, why the mass of caffeine remaining in the scientist's body, predicted by the model, may not be accurate. So, there's quite a few reasons I can think of. 
everyone is going to metabolize caffeine at different rates. You could help your body get rid of it by drinking more water, um, anything like that, and you would be fine. Those are the first two that spring to my mind. Cool.